uh, 700E conversion kit, uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, prep your 700N um, for the installation. The first thing you need to do is, if you're not usually utilizing the front dual uh, lipo tray uh, that we have offers an option by which you can mount um, your S6X pack and as well as your receiver pack um, by using the stock uh, receiver tray you're able to mount it uh, basically um, right below the bottom. The disadvantage of that is you're mounting um, quite a bit of weight at a very low level so we really highly suggest that you get the uh, optional lipo tray which will allow you to mount the battery packs much higher. Um, the other nice thing about the 700N being used as a conversion is we designed the kit to utilize all the existing holes so therefore you don't have to go through the trouble of drilling holes. The nice thing about it also is if you already have a 700N the nice thing about it is it's already built, um, already flying and already set up to go. So the only thing you need to do is basically remove the front uh, electronics tray, uh, remove the motor, uh, the clutch block, as well as the fuel tank, and the installation for the conversion kit should take no more than about 10 minutes at the most. So we're going to go ahead and install the front uh, LiPo tray first, and then we'll go ahead and do the rear uh, conversion kit. So the first thing I do is there are left and right pieces for the uh, side plates. So the first thing we're going to do is install the left plate on first. Um, the front plate will also include uh, screws to utilize the canopy mount. And now we're going to install the right side. as well as the canopy mount. Now we'll just tighten things up. The next thing you got to do is position the lipo tray mount in between the side plates and just go ahead and bolt it into place. The other thing we suggest is when you're building this kit is to use a little thread locker on the threads because any form of vibration the screws will come out. In this demonstration we'll just put it together to save some time. Okay. Now the tray installed, what you may want to do now is install the receiver pack directly below it. And the other thing too before we start we actually apply Velcro on the surface so it'll speed up things as well too. Next you want to do is just strap the battery in. A little groove here for the Velcro strap. Once it's strapped in, you're ready to slap on one of your receiver, one of your 6X packs. Okay. Now the nice thing about this tray is it allows you to position the battery about uh, three quarter inch down the tray or about the tray just to set up your CG, which is pretty important. Next thing we're going to do is install the rear uh, LiPo tray, which is part of the uh, actual 700E conversion kit, which we already applied the Velcro. Uh, we're going to also install um, the motor mount onto the motor. The motor which you're using today is the uh, new motor, the 1915H, uh, 1.5Y. It's a 450 kV motor, excellent power, um, very efficient, and runs very cool. And I think most folks are very happy with this and they're already running this, so we highly recommend this. So the first thing we're going to do is install the LiPo tray into the frame. Now the nice thing about, again, uh, this product, it utilizes all the stock holes, so you don't have to go through the trouble of drilling it. Now the nice thing about that as well is to be able to convert back to a nitro anytime. Not that you really want to, but the option is there. Plus the other thing too is the resale value. So let's bolt it in here. Okay, that's done. 
and let's bolt on the back boom support. Now the boom support is also uh, bolted onto the tray so it gives you much greater support for the battery and we actually top mount the battery on that tray so therefore it's easier to set the CG on, on the rear battery as well too before you fly. We know other kits strap the batteries from below but the disadvantage to that we believe is it's just convenience taking the battery off and putting the battery on. So what we'll do now now the battery tray is in, we'll mount the battery on. There we go. So it doesn't fall off. Next thing you're gonna do is install the motor mount and the hose we decided to pick for this one here, the motor has the ability to use M25 by a uh, 30 uh, uh, spacing or M4 uh, by 30. So we chose the M4 by 30 because we believe that's a much stronger uh, uh, thread because the option is there. So go with the stronger one, of course. So all I got to do now is bolt it on, slide it through, drop it down, and just bolt it into place. Now the motor mount and the motor are already done. The next thing we're going to do is install the frame braces into the frame. Again, this utilizes the existing holes in the frame, so we don't have to do any more drilling. And the nice thing about that is we perfectly don't like drilling holes ourselves. Um, with some of the earlier prototypes we had, uh, we found that we kept on making mistakes and the holes never seem to line up when you drill holes especially when you do it by hand. So this is something I think a lot of people will really appreciate, especially those that want to know how complex it is to do a conversion. Really, is actually a lot easier than you think. But the nice thing about that is all your electronics are intact, the head's already built, um, your radio's already programmed, your helicopter physically is already flying. So it really there's not much work to do other than spending 10 minutes to install a conversion kit. Now we'll bolt on the right uh, frame brace and once that's done then we'll go ahead to install the motor into the frame. Okay, one more hole, one more screw that is and we're done. The only thing I left to do is now slide the motor up into the frame set the mesh and just bolt it into place. Wire up your electronics, your ESC, your BEC, if you need so, for your battery packs, and you're ready to fly. Now the motor is bolted in place. The next thing we're gonna do is do a quick check on the CG and let's see if everything is spot on. Okay. Now we'll lift the landing gear, lift the uh, head and get it off the landing gear if you watch. So it comes off the table, it should come off straight. And we'll put it back down. There you go. Spot on. That's exactly what you need. Especially those that are flying flyerless, you really appreciate this kit because there's no fussing, there's no messing around. It's just plug and play, ready to go. Hope you guys are going to be happy with this kit. Um, we spent a lot of time developing it. Um, we ourselves are also pilots. We just want to make sure it's a kit that we personally like and everybody else out there likes as well and the whole idea is not to spend a lot of time to install the kit and but to be able to put the kit in spend your time tuning it flying it and having fun thank you again and uh, thank you very much for supporting our product